Hey everyone, it's Barry with Dilla Dynamics Gaming. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and the fastest way to level up each and every single one of your characters in Injustice 2 to the max, to level 30. This guide works in 2020, and with that being said, let's get started. Injustice 2 is an amazing game. However, I took a break from playing it for a few years. I used to play it on Xbox, but I recently came back about a month ago playing on PlayStation, and I had to start from scratch with all of my progress. And I was leveling up my main, and I realized something in the multiverse. The computer AI is whack. Dude, it's so... <laughs> it's ridiculous. The computer AI basically has two modes that I've noticed. And it's completely random, and it's terrible. I noticed that either I'd be fighting computerized enemies that are ridiculously easy. Like, like it's like a piece of cake. They're like a training dummy. They barely fight back or react to attacks. It's too easy. But that's not really too much of the problem. The problem was the second type of enemy AI, which was the extremely hard, ridiculous enemy AI. I mean, it was so hard to the point where I could barely even fight back because I was too busy getting my butt handed to me by this AI that was just barraging me with attacks over and over and over again. And the very rare moments that the AI would actually give me a break and allow me to fight back for a second, I would fight back and it was almost like, or maybe it is, the AI would read my attacks, my inputs, and react with a quicker move to punish me. I found myself fighting the same enemy like 20 times and I just couldn't get past it. And on the verge of quitting, I went back to the character select screen to change my character. And I noticed something. You can change your loadouts. But not only can you change your own loadouts, there is a thing called AI loadouts. And my my, is it a blessing. AI loadouts basically allow you to fight fire with fire. You get to customize your own AI to battle the game's AI, and man is it awesome. I'm gonna show you how to use it today and how to get all of your characters to level 30 in the fastest and the easiest way possible. Let's get into it. All right, so we're here on the main menu, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Customize Characters tab, and you're gonna see all your characters pop up. Now, a quick disclaimer, before we go any further, as you can see, most of my characters are level 30. Um, I have a few characters underneath level 30, but all of them are above level 20. Um, I didn't want to wait until I got every single character to level 30 to make this video, um, because here's the disclaimer. This is the fastest method to get to level 30 with all characters. It's the easiest and the fastest way to level up. However, if you're like me, trying to get every single character to the max, it's going to take some time. But don't worry, I'm going to show you some ways to speed up the process even more. If you just want to get a few characters to level 30, there's nothing wrong with that. You're in luck here even more. Because it, I would say it takes about a few hours to get any character from level 0 to level 30. However, or level 1 to level 30, but it depends as well on what level you start off as. So for example, if you start off with this method at level 15, it's gonna take you a lot less time to get to level 30 than if you're level five. But either way, it takes a few hours. All right, everyone, so for the next part of the video, I'm gonna be using Black Canary as a demonstration to show you guys how AI fighters work, how to use them, and also how to program them. Now, in truth, I could be using any character on this list to show you guys but I'm using Black Canary specifically because she has a few extra traits that are really going to complement the points that I'm about to be making. So with that being said, let's take a look. First thing I'm going to do is click on her and on the left side, you're going to see two different types of loadouts. Number one, the player loadouts and the AI loadouts. Now, we don't care about the player loadouts. What we care about are the AI loadouts. So for the first one, I leave completely blank for all of my characters. I don't change, I just leave default. I recommend that you customize the second loadout. You can also customize the first one if you want, but I would recommend that you make your main AI loadout the second one because by doing so, 
it makes things a lot faster, a lot quicker, and a lot less complicated when you're choosing which loadout you want to use. And I'll show you that in a second as well. But for demonstrational purposes, first, I want to talk about the default. So don't worry about all the default um, gear in the middle. I want to focus on the mid right of the screen where it says AI attributes used 60 out of 60. So what that means is that you have 60 points to use in the six categories below and you have to use all of them. Now the default is that you have 15 for the first four categories and the six categories are grappling, rushdown, combos, counters, zoning, and runaway. Now this is extremely important and crucial to the success of your AI because each character is different. You want to put in points to the traits that really, to the categories that really um, complement your character's play style, how your character fights. So for example, Black Canary is a close-up rushdown character. Um, her kind of fight style is running up to the opponent um, and just really barraging them with attacks. Um, and whenever they make a mistake, she punishes them. Other characters like that would be like Robin or even like a grappler because it's close up, Bane. Um, I would recommend putting points into grappling, rushdown, combos, and some counters. Now on the other side of things, you have the zoners. And what they usually want to do is stay away from the opponent and attack from a distance with projectiles or whatever, such as Dr. Fate, Firestorm, and Deadshot. I would recommend putting in points mostly focusing on zoning and runaway for those characters to create some distance. Um, and then like characters like that are all around, Batman, um, Aquaman, Green Arrow, Superman. Um, you want to have like a, like a healthy mix of them, but you don't want it to be like here, like 15, 15, 15, 15. And I'll show you guys that um, as well. So this is the second loadout and this is pretty, this works pretty well for Black Canary um, with the attributes used. She has a little bit of grappling, um, a good amount of rushdown, a lot of like full combos and some counters and she is a beast when she's fighting like it's it's really it's really awesome to watch um i also want to talk about the gear here and there's a reason why i picked black canary to show um out of my other characters if you look at the gear here look at the augments pure focus increases all xp gained by 9.97 percent this one 8.97 this one 8.8 uh, 8.80, I mean, this one 8.03, this one 9.54. Not all characters have this for every single gear piece, at least in my experience, but she's one of my characters that has a gear piece for every single um, limb, like every single um, category that has a boost to XP. I recommend this because this is going to speed up the process of leveling up immensely, like seriously immensely um if you look at the summary i think that's about what like 45 percent of an increase in xp gain um just rounding i guess i don't know somewhere around there uh which is huge it's huge um so i would recommend putting on um gear that either increases character xp or increases all xp that's going to help you level up even faster you don't have to you're still going to level up pretty fast with using the AI, but this helps it a ton. Oh, and I'm not going to show what I program for every single one of my characters because that would make the video way too long. But if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, leave a question down in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Um, I will also have a link in the description to a PowerPoint that I found on Reddit. I don't remember what the guy's name is, but he was nice enough to uh, make a PowerPoint of really, really good programming numbers or like AI attributes for most of the characters in the game. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description below. Um, but he is missing a few DLC characters, some of the characters that came in later into the game. Um, but if you want to find those, I would recommend just going onto Google or Bing or whatever you use and just typing in the character's name and um, good AI attributes for them. And that should help you out. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you don't want to uh, look up your specific character's AI attributes, or if you don't want to play around with the sliders, see what works well for them, or if you don't want to check the PowerPoint down below, 
um, there is a universal, I would say, um, combination that works well for most characters. Um, so, most characters it won't be the best combination for, but it'll still work rather well. But for some characters, it'll be great. It'll be fantastic for. Harley Quinn is one of those examples. Um, she works really well with this combination. And the combination is 30 combos, 30 counters. Just something to keep in mind. Alright everyone, so now I'm going to show you where you can use your AI fighter. The first place I'm going to show you is all the way up here in single player. In the multiverse, you could still use your AI fighters in the legendary multiverse, but that's for another day. I'm going to show you in the multiverse. Um, you go in here and there's a bunch of different earths that you can explore. Every single one of these here you can use your uh, AI fighter in and in the battle simulator as well uh, it can really help you out get those character endings unlocked especially in the harder difficulties um, survivor the AI really helps you out endless um, I recommend using endless if you just want to rank up characters really fast because all you got to do is just press well for all of these you have to press X after the match is over so you do still have to be around um, the game I recommend like having the TV on or a movie on or a series or something or if you're doing some work you can have the game on in the background and just press X every now and then um, so I'll show you here and it's the same process for any one of these um, uh, uh, multiverse earths so let's say any one of these characters I'm just gonna do let's say Green Lantern here um, I didn't notice this uh, when I was first playing the game, but if you look at the top left, you're going to see the square. You're going to want to uh, click on that if you're on PlayStation, if you're on Xbox, I believe it's X. And then you're going to see these loadouts. And I'm going in the right direction, to the right. Um, these are all the player loadouts. And then you have the, the AI. So that's a long way to go. So the reason why I say to do uh, loadout number two, so now that we're back at the first loadout, you just hit one to the left and boom you're there it's much easier than having to go like uh, two see it's it's super fast just like this um, and then you just press X and then the AI will fight for you it's really cool all right so now I'm going to show you an alternate method that you can use to level up your characters using your AI fighters to do that you want to go to the main menu and then you want to go to the multiplayer tab then down one to the AI battle simulator and then down a few to the fight tab. Now, what the AI battle simulator basically is, is you are taking three of your AI fighters online to fight against another player's three AI fighters. It's pretty cool. Now, I don't recommend this way um, as your primary method of, you know, um, ranking up your characters. I think it's a lot better to do in the multiverse. This is just something that you can also do. Um, but this is more of a secondary way to do it. The first way is more than enough. Um, but anyway, just pick whoever you want to fight against. And um, say, let's pick, uh, let's pick Aquaman. Now, keep in mind, you still have to pick square to pick which loadout you want to use. I say that the second loadout is... is uh, you want to use the second loadout for the multiverse. It makes your life so much easier. In the battle simulator, you want to... It saves you about a second to have it here as loadout number one. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's choose whatever. Let's choose, uh, I don't know. Let's choose whoever. And then, go ahead and fight online. Now, this way, what's interesting about this is if you see enable fast forward at the bottom of the screen. I'll show you in a second when this thing loads. You can speed up the battle Begin. by a lot. So, see, this is normal speed. Um, you press the button, it goes twice as fast, press it again, goes four times as fast, press it again, goes normal speed. So, this is really fast, um, but at the same time, you're not really leveling up. It's a lot, it's a lot more work, because you have to press the button a lot more, um, to play. But, it's just another method, um, I thought you guys should know. So, hopefully it helped. <laughs> Alright everyone, that wraps up my guide for today. I hope it helped. If it did, please be sure to leave a like down below. I would really appreciate it. It really helps up my channel. If you have any questions whatsoever, please be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I will try my best to help you out. 
And if you're looking forward to more Injustice 2 guides, I have a lot more coming. Um, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button not to miss them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace be with you. Yeah.